Call me in order, please. Pleasure to fly. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of Kazakhstan. Okay, roll call. Mark Bonarici. Here. Gary Keplick. Here. Heidi Kramer. Nancy Ellis. Here. Gary Garakas. Here. Gigi Matiki. Here. Janine, you're on there, right? Okay, all we can see is here. We can see the bill of your cap, is all we can see. Um, there you go, thank you. Okay, approval of the regular minute meetings of November 10th, uh, 2020. Have a motion for that, please. Motion. Second. Second. Any question or discussion on it at all? Roll call. Okay, I have a question. Oh, hold on. Councilman Jericho, do you have any comments to make when I left? Well, that wouldn't be part of the minutes, Frank. That would be out. Oh, the minutes, right? No, it's not part of the minutes. So it's the addition. That was part. That was that was when we may or may not be in the executive session. You were in executive session. Or executive session. You weren't. You weren't. Were. No, that was executive session. When you walked out of the room, we were in executive session. We were supposed to start it, and they called you out there. We were. We were in executive session. Yes, that was definitely not part of the meeting. Whenever that the question you asked about, you and I were out in the hallway. So we can talk about that later. That wasn't part of the meeting. I'd just like to remind council you have a resolution about the disclosure of the plan session. Yes. The period. Just a reminder. Yes. Mark. Okay. Okay. Um, roll call. Jerry Kaplan. Yes. Nancy Ellis. Yes. Jerry Garica. Yes. Janine McKinney. Okay. Was that a yes, Janine? Over top of what? I'm not sure which audience member because no one here is talking. It's an audience member that's on the Zoom call. Yeah, they want to mute. Oh, someone that's not here in the building, you mean? Correct. Okay. Uh, can you mute it's anyone who's not? No, you got the computer. Yeah, but I'm not sure how to, how to do that on here. Ike? Where's Ike? Don't roll today. I'm not sure who's right. referring to If we could ask anyone who's not a council member, if you could also just mute on your own, please. Okay. Can you hear better now, Janine? Oh, yeah, I'm going to stop you at the moment. Okay. They're not muted either. They're not muted either? No. Okay, again, if I could ask one more time, please. Whoever is not muted, um, if you're not. Um, you know, someone who's on council, please mute your your system so we can conduct this meeting properly. Mark, we're going to ask the she's the admin on here. She should be able to mute everyone. It's actually in front of me, so we don't have the feedback like we had last time. And we're not seeing who it is, Jane. She came over and tried it, and we're not seeing who it is. It's not showing on our end. I do see that on my screen. Do you know how to? No, go ahead. I'm good. Okay, you're going to have to for that shirt. No, go ahead. I'm, I'm just trying to get so you can hear her talk. I understand. Okay, did we get everyone's vote on the approval of the minutes? Yeah. We left yeah. off with Janine, right? Janine. Okay. Okay. Frank and Kara? No. Mark Audrey? Yes. Okay, Mayor's report? Only thing I have is. Happy holiday season. True, uh, true. I I would be politically incorrect to say happy Merry Christmas season. <laughs> That's all I didn't say. <laughs> um, okay, sorry, I just couldn't help myself there. Um, report of standing committees. Uh, Janine Finance. We do have that as item six on the agenda to vote on. Yeah, we have that as item six on the agenda. I'm not sure if you've received the packet or not, but it is on the actual agenda. Uh, I don't have anything else. 
Okay, how about paying, how about the bills? Okay. I have it in front of me if you just want me to take it. Can't, nobody can hear it. I don't know why it's not picking her up. I got that other speaker. Was everyone able to hear that? Do you need me to repeat it back? Because I know it's a little hard to hear. Uh, Jenny, I'm going to go ahead and repeat it back just because they're having trouble hearing you. Total bills to be paid was $83,785.24. Total bills paid was $17,048.48. And total of all bills, she said, was $100,000, $833.72. So, finance, Janine made a motion to have the bills paid. Does we have a second on that? Second. I have a question. Yes, sir. <clears throat> what do we pay the police every month? 50000 53 Okay, My question to representatives of the police board, uh, when do you get fall for time sheet so we can lessen our, our We're working on that. Well, we sent them letters. We sent them three proposals. Not much else we could do. We gave them a full-time proposal, uh, a mid-grade proposal, and an hourly proposal. They have not got back to us. Well, my concern is the state police doesn't turn, address those issues. We have to go out and help them, right? No. We don't? We do occasionally. We don't, we, only if the state police ask for assistance. If but I'm worried about it. I, I love the police and I want more police, Mr. President. You know that. I have. But I'm worried it's going to bankrupt our borough unless we get other communities to come in and help us. No one here is going to argue. That's one thing you and I are going to agree on 100% as far as the other communities. Um, we've made attempts to have foul for part of the regional police the since day one. I do know that <coughs> our board members have made an effort. Um, I was told that they actually did sit down with some of the representatives from Falco about two months ago. Um, maybe, they, three. maybe three. And gave them, uh, gave them a proposal after that. Um, but yeah, they're just waiting for them to go ahead. Was, um, we gave them a written proposal. That wasn't yeah. just, we sent them a written proposal. You know what I mean? Three we, different we ones. We struggle every, every year. I was saying it. We, we take the majority of the hit, and the idea of the regional is that everybody joins together and we all share in, as, as members of our community. It, it, to me, it's no different than the state legislative branch needs to step in and make these communities that aren't paying for their own police right. yeah. pay something. They're getting a free ride, right. um, and quite honestly, that should not be. And they're the top. They're the top of the. Well, we have one in the state that's on this area. It's one of the tops in the entire state, yeah. and one of the highest um, money wise. Money wise, and they're one that does not have. This is someone's outside the valley. Um, so yeah, I agree with you on that. I think everyone was here. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions on the bills at all? Okay. We have a motion and the uh, second. Pay the bills. Roll call. Okay. You can't play. Yes. Nancy Allen? Yes. Gary Garrison? Yes. Janine Mopicki? Yes. Frank Patera? Yes. Mark Lottery? Yes. Um, personnel, Janine, do you have anything? Uh, no, I'll let Nancy discuss that. Okay. Nancy, it's all you. Um, I'm going to ask for executive session. Okay. Okay. Whatever, at the end is fine. Um, so okay, well, she want to do it now. It's up to you. No, do it at the end. Well, do it at the end. We'll do it at the end, but we may have to come back because I, I have a hunch what she wants to talk about. So we may we still have we something to vote about. Right. I don't know what it is, but is it a voting thing? It potentially could be, yes. Yes. No, we can still come back. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go through the agenda first and then we'll come back to that. Okay. Um, that was my own personnel issue. Okay. So we'll, we'll come to that at the end. Okay. Public works, Nancy? Um, we are down to one salt truck and um, they have ordered parts for the other one um, and I strongly hope that we are going
going to be able, even if we have to make payments, to be able to get a new truck, one truck. Well, I got a phone call in to Davies, Jim Davies, waiting for him to get back to me on payment arrangements. Uh, talk to him about a lease program, possibly. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Um, they just didn't, you know, they were tied up with the snow. Um, <clears throat> they've been around the borough building here, helping with the, um, whatever the... New to make office? Yeah. So, I see they got the blinds up. Yeah, they got the blinds up. So... Now, that the sun's now you're all good with the sun from Mr. Red. Yeah, now that the sun's gone. <laughs> <laughs> we need the sun today. Okay, yes. did it? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see, public work. I know it's just a public work. So, Jerry, anything else for you on public works? I'm sorry. Uh, no, we just discussed it. Okay. Uh, code, Jody? Um, Bobby, you want to give a report? Uh, I gave a bunch of money for it. You know, um, I don't know if you can't be all the way with this pandemic and um, everything seems to be, you know, seems to be worse. Still people putting their garbage out. I noticed down on McCain in the father of water. Somebody's putting their garbage out front, not in the back. So we're going to have to send them a notice. And, you know, that's that's the biggest thing right now in construction. You can't force somebody to paint their house now. Or, you know, I've seen some roofs being put on and things like that. But uh, other than that, I've got a bunch of hearings coming up uh, next week and then some, uh, some hearings in Washington, but who knows what's going to happen there with those. Hopefully they cancel them. I don't want to go out there either with this one. So. Frank, do you have anything else on the code? Okay. Uh, Parks and Recs, Frank? No. Okay. I think it's probably a good time. Jerry, do you have anyone we've talked about with Santa? Or oh. Anything? Well, with the, uh, I talked to Bobby today about uh, Santa Claus. He suggested that the fire department would uh, like to do the June 20th at 6 p.m. Uh, Bobby, would you explain how you would do that? Yeah, what did I say? June. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm wasting on. My birthday is the 19th of June. Uh, <laughs> December 20th. Uh, Bobby, we do want to explain how they want to do it. We're just going to uh, get the squad truck, put Santa Claus in the back and ride around and make, you know, make some noise. And uh, I know of Spears, they had like a, fall, a car fall on him with playing Christmas carols. And uh, the guy said there was like, people were like sort of falling in the line and, you know, following him around town and people were out, you know, you know waving. And, and he said it was pretty nice up in Spears so that we can get something going. You know, we're going to start about six. We got Santa Claus. Santa Claus has to be a fire, uh, fireman to ride the equipment. So we got a guy lined up for that and try to hit, you know, most of the main streets. We're not going to go down alleys or whatever. And then you can't give anything out. So, you know, are I don't you, know. Are you going to hit all the streets? We're going to try whatever streets we can get through. Okay. <laughs> um, I emailed Dr. Zelich yeah. the other day, and he said that they can put it on their Facebook page. Were we still talking about having someone? You know, like the letters to Santa from the kids and putting them in a mailbox or something there, is that possible? Well, I mean, I was talked about when we moved on that part of it. Um, how much, I mean, I get different feedback. It's a good idea, it's not a good idea. They're having the kids running back and forth. Yeah, so I'm, I'm okay with either way. I think I gotta tell you guys, it's a separate note. I mean, maybe we put a box outside, you know. That's actually a good idea. Do we still have, do anybody know if we still have we used to have a box with yeah, Santa House. Does anyone know if we still have that? Okay, let's check in the street department tomorrow. And maybe we can put that out in front of the, uh, maybe put it like in the downstairs lobby and let people oh, know. Put it right outside the, you know, on the building. Wojnowski's also offered to help with the right now. Okay. So. I, I'm going to tell you one real quickly. I wish it's not time to do it now, but um, I have my business in Lansburg, and they did a reverse Christmas parade. So something to keep in mind for down the road. I'd never heard of this before. I talked to Nancy about it. She was kind of surprised when I told her. What they did basically was, and it's easier for them because they were in the fairgrounds, but they let anyone who's participating in the parade, the businesses, the floods, whoever, we were all lined up inside of the fairgrounds. Um, we stayed with our vehicles. We made no contact with the people in their cars. 
the people drove through the fairgrounds in their cars. Um, we waved to them, said yeah. hi, Merry Christmas. And when they got to the very end, Santa was there with his elves. Anything we would normally throw, candy or whatever, to pray, they had all this stuff in bags for the kids. Um, honestly, it's a great idea. I wish I had thought about it. And it just it was something they put together quite honestly, very late in the game, where I brought it to a center. But just something to think, keep in mind, if we ever run into a problem like this with parade again, it was nice. And we had two, a little over two solid hours of bumper-to-bumper -bumper cars. I don't know what their car count was, but I believe it was between four and 500 cars. Um, it was very nice, and so I, and they did a great job with it. So, something we could think about for down the road. It was definitely thinking outside the box, and I give them a lot of credit for that. It's something we could consider if we have a parade issue down the road. To hitchhike on that, yeah. I spoke um, to Senator Barbara office today, to one of the aides over there, in regards to an issue regarding the borough. And we were just talking about the holidays and how things are different, and they had brought that up that they also participated and how great it went over and oh yeah there's yeah they represent her office was right next to me yeah they were they were set actually set up right next to me oh uh, were they yeah they okay. and camp snyder was right across so we were, <clears> we were all in one area there together yeah, it was yeah. very nice it was very very nice remember he was actually ringing a christmas bell for us uh, <laughs> okay so we're all on the same page um and jerry will we'll continue to coordinate all this retirement I think we all look pretty well coordinated, I guess. They're gonna they're gonna run it. If, if somebody can try to get me a 110 somehow higher, yeah. ask your guys if they have a converter that it could be plugged into a vehicle. Uh, I'll get you music. Um, I have a generator, but it's huge, so I'm not I can't lug that around. Okay. If if we can get some kind of power, we'll, we'll get some kind of music. In Jerry, we got that small generator. It's like a little quiet type generator. You can go down the back of the back of the squad and go one down. That's all we need, Dan. And I'll I'll give you a speaker and. You might have a mount before they go. You can't set it up for it. I don't want to bust on it. Yeah, no. You just plug my iPad into it. Put Christmas music on. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. Police chair. Uh. The only thing I have on our place is, it looks like uh, we, we have a tentative contract with them uh, without ever meeting with them, which is a first and a great thing. Um, I'm not going to get into what it is yet, because it has not been signed yet. It has not been voted on. But we did get an email from Todd Papasurgy saying that uh, he's been trying to meet with everyone and with some few people being sick and can't uh, join in and do negotiations, uh, it looks like we, we will have a tentative contract. Okay. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Uh, Jody, okay. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I asked you before, Jerry, uh, is there a drug policy in the contract? Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much. Um, <coughs> the radios were ordered. Uh, we all the radios were ordered and they were waiting to be pre programmed. They're in. They're in. They're in. All that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nancy, you have anything? Uh, the money that was raised from the uh, canine event uh, will pay for the training of the canine along with his new partner. Good. So that's totally paid for. Fantastic. Great job, guys. Yeah, thank you again. Yes, thank you. Okay, fire and EMS, Frank? Uh, yes, I, before I give Bobby's report, I wanted to make a statement that uh, there has been controversy in reference to a fundraiser for the fire department down at the, uh, on the Water Authority property. <clears throat> My, I, I realize there's complaints coming from the businesses in reference to ordinances and uh, a truck coming in and selling food, uh, but I understand that the benefits, benefits the fire department. Here's my statement. If I was home and my house was on fire, would I want to train Chalry Fire Department employees coming in rescuing me and my family or a pizza delivery guy? My question is, I don't really care if the water company gives them that property. I don't care if they put a flea market on it. If it helps our fire department, 
and during this pandemic, which is very, very hard for them to operate, I don't think there's a problem with and I think we should give them some leniency on every step. And my only, and I, and I, you know I still feel about the fire department, and I support them a thousand percent. But I also know that the food truck brings them a minimal amount of money in compared to the money they're not receiving from the residents and businesses of this community they are going to call on them if there's a fire. They're at a 38% collection right now on their fund drive. They need about a 60 to 65%. Bobby, am I correct in that 60 to 65? Yeah. They need about a 60 to 65% response. So more importantly, instead of the pennies, quite honestly, the minimal amount they make on a food truck, and I'm not knocking or saying one way or the other on that, I'm saying the residents and the business people of this community need to step up. They're 38%. I know we understand we're all having some tough times right now, but you hit it, Frank, you nailed it. If your house catches on fire, you're going to want those guys to be there. So maybe sacrifice a little bit of out of your play money to support these guys. And I think that's more important than anything with a fire truck. And I really, I cannot stress that enough. And I'm going to say something that we all said last week. I'm going to repeat again. I want to make it very, very, very clear. This council as a whole is 1,000% in favor of this fire department and the support that they do and appreciates completely everything they do. And I want to make sure that's out there. And I think the people just need to step up and do more of that. Um, I think a lot of people, some people have, I should say, I know that talking to Bob, but nowhere near what it should be. So that's really where the big issue is right now. Okay. Bob, do you have a report also? Yeah, we had uh, we had 49, 49, alarms, 49 fire calls in, in uh, November. Um, we had two of our members that did have COVID. They recovered. We had one member that was uh, quarantined. He went out of state during Thanksgiving to see his parents. He's been quarantined. He's back in service. So we are definitely watching what's going on next door because we don't want to wipe out the fire department. You know, our fire department, like you know, what happened in Vanessa. Uh, we've had a couple of calls here lately that was some COVID stuff. You know, there was a lot of questions and we're doing all, all we can. We just bought some more equipment for our air packs today to, if we have to get involved in that. So. I mean, you know, everybody's making a, trying to make a buck on you for this COVID, you know, PPE and hand sanitizer and things. So uh, we do have a, a gun ticket that plays on uh, Friday. I'm assuming that they're all gone so to help to try to make a couple bucks on that. And we have the lottery ticket that plays uh, Christmas Eve. It's a $5 ticket and it, it's a $2,200 worth of uh, scratch offs and $800 cash. Uh, from what I understand right now, they're almost uh, gone. And uh, we did cancel. You know, we did cancel our own. We're, we're looking out for a guy. We canceled our annual uh, beginning of the year, basically Christmas party, uh, first meeting. We canceled that. Our kids' Christmas party, we canceled. So I think we're trying to do our share too to um, uh, you know help out with this COVID uh, COVID issue. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Um, just for everyone's knowledge, I think everyone he's mentioned doesn't want to happen to happen in Manesson. I assume everyone's aware that um, one of the Manesson fire departments was down and they went over and handled the calls for those guys there. So not only are they helping here, but they're helping throughout the entire, and that's one thing about the firemen in general. I'm not talking Charlotte and Manesson. Those guys all work well together. You know, and they're, I mean, if there's a fire here, you're not gonna see just Charlotte trucks. You're gonna see trucks from all the community and vice versa. So I think that's a general statement, not just Charlotte resident support, but whatever community you live in, People need to support the fire departments. And we're headed to 1.2. Our state grants coming out here next year. We have applied for it. That's a grant that goes towards our game on the truck. And it's in the, in the, uh, uh, the, the small print. If, if the borough would recognize me and that as a paid force, we could the borough could apply for the, the state fire grant. And then the fire department would be the Shawlery Fire Department. They could apply, which we apply every year. The borough might be able to get some money to help defray the cost of me and Matt's, or more Matt than me, uh, salary. It's been it's being done like North Strabane. They have the North Strabane Fire Department, and they have the paid part of North Strabane. So they get two they get two state grants because they're two different entities. So if the borough would recognize that we have a paid force, which would be me and Matt, I would assume, and then you know you could apply it, even though it's two men. It's better. You know, it's, it's still. Uh, an entity, and then our fire department could apply. You know, the fire department keep applying. They get their money. Maybe the borough could get some money and help help with Matt's wages. Are you sure you get the, the, the uh, application for that 
Yeah, it's too late now. Okay, but you know, you'd have to you'd have to make you'd have to make some kind of steam before you'd be able to you'd have to make some kind of proclamation or do other kind to do it to make consider me and Matt is a is a, is a, a paid force and then the volunteers would be separate. Yeah, if we get that story, we understand it's too late for right now. At least you can get the ball and we'll for the next. Look for something for next year. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah okay, that's right. Thank you. For that. Um, along those lines, I I just want to clear too. Bob, I know there were some fire departments that received money through the CARES Act, and I know you guys applied, but you did not receive. Is that correct? Yeah, we didn't receive anything yet. Okay, because I know there was some question about that. Um, different communities did. But All right. Like I I, I, the only thing I heard about it was if you weren't a 501c3, you weren't getting it. And I heard there's some fire departments that are very upset that they that, that they're not getting it, and they said, "Why should they be penalized for 501c3?" Which I agree wholeheartedly. So one the one department I heard complains got an attorney, so he's already got thirty-five hundred dollars tied up in attorney fees to fight this. So I don't know. My I'm what I'm scared of is, of is if they fight it, they're going to hold all the money and wait till this is over with. Or in my in my opinion is if it's five or six departments in Washington County, take their money out and let it sit there until they make a determination on their nonprofit status. But don't don't take it away from me or, or whoever has the 501c3. We did you know we did our share. We did our homework on it. I mean we've had it for a while, but you know, but it just you know there's some, there is a department fighting it, and who knows what's going to happen. Um. Our fire department is or is not a 501 We are. That's what I thought. Yeah. All so, the were about five, six years ago. She get a 501 even with the United Way. People give the United Way. We could, there are a lot of people who call say, we want to give three 501 c No. Now we are. They can give their, their money to, uh, to us or, you know, how, you know, the United Way type deal or, you know, whatever. So we are covered on. So that's even one more reason why should people should donate to you guys for the tax rate. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, Jerry, you said you had nothing on some fire name? Yeah, let me throw out the animal control sure. uh, here. Total calls, uh, animal control, 53. Five citations, 40 warnings, three uh, animal bites, uh, pickups, six. Animals returned, two. Nuisance call, 40. Uh, catch trap two. Mark, I'd like to say um, I would like to publicly thank Pet Supply Plus for their donation um, to the Shawlery Colony Cat Project. I went up last night and picked up two big buggy full of cat and dog food. But the cat uh, food has been already distributed to all the colonies in the town. So that's a big help and I'd like to acknowledge that for that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Do we have any public discussion on agenda items? That sounds like a no. Okay. Um, under the correspondence, we've covered most of the things under there. Um, the police reports and EMS reports are in all of your packets. If there's any question on that, just let us know. Let's go ahead and go on to the agenda. Um, item number one, to approve a paid accessible parking application for 705 Crest Avenue. So moved. Have a second on that, please? Second. Motion and second. Any questions? Roll call. Judy Chaplin? Yes. Angie Ellis? Yes. Gary Derrick? Yes. Vinny Matiki? Yes. Thank Aaron you. Tara? Yes. Mark Audrey? Yes. Okay, uh, number two to approve the borough manager job description. I think before you even ask for a motion, Steve, you probably should read that. Yeah, we can ask you. don't want me to read. Not the whole thing. <laughs> I, it's four pages. Yeah. Uh, just to update uh, Mayor Council, uh, I've been working with Michael Foreman of DCB, who oversees the strategic management program. Uh, we've worked together to come up with the language for the job description. Uh, many of the duties that are outlined in here are those that our borough manager ordinance already contemplates and already set by uh, the borough code. So if you just like to look through those, um, this was critical uh, the council take action on this tonight because we have advertised for resumes, excuse me, and uh, this will allow uh, Mr. Foreman to 
begin the candidate selection process uh, when resumes come in. And I believe Roberta is receiving those by email through December 20th or 21st? 21st. 21st. Yes. So um, Mr. Corbin is working remotely as state government is. <laughs> he told me on the phone the other day until July. Yeah. But he will be receiving those. Uh, he will go through them, uh, select uh, suggested candidates for interviews, and he will actually coordinate the interview process with us remotely uh, at first, and then we'll see if we can get permission uh, from DCED to attend any uh, interviews that we would conduct. So uh, this is sort of the next step, if you would, and uh, agenda item three is really the final step for um, that selection process. So I know we're taking those one at a time, Mr. President, so I can't read resolution uh, number 10 when we get there. But, uh, that's the purpose of, of this agenda item. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that's for a motion to approve the borough manager job description. Do I have a motion for that? So no. moved. Second. Okay. Any questions or discussion? Roll call. Danny Chaplin? Yes. Nancy Ellis? Yes. Gary Garrison? Yes. Ginny Matiki? Yes. Frank Pater? No, and I'd like to preference it by saying that at one time I did believe that we needed a borough manager. I spoke with Councilman Jericho about it. Uh, and looking at the overall position of it, I think we have a borough administrator. I think if we allow her to do her job, uh, it would be sufficient. I'm also worried that down the road, although we're reimbursed at times, so it's going to cost us a lot of money. Uh, and I uh, believe that the borough administrator has come up with a, uh, many years in the past, even when I sat on the council on finance, that she come up with a no tax increase. Uh, therefore, I will vote no on borough manager description. So I respect that. Thank you. Mark Rodriguez. Yes. Okay, number three, approve resolution number 10 of 2020, partial funding for the borough manager through the STMP program. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, resolution 10, as uh, Councilor Terry just forecasted, um, follows the STMP recommendation for the professional borough manager. Uh, part of that process, uh, Mr. Foreman again indicated uh, that there is a potential for 50% funding uh, for a three-year period. Uh, that's 50% total. We're not exactly sure how that will be paid out. Um, it's part of that grant program, but I will read the resolution uh, into the record at this time. Resolution 10.20. It provides that whereas the borough of Shawler recently completed the strategic management planning program administered by the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development, DCD. And whereas the central recommendation of the SDMP's report was the creation of the position of borough manager. And whereas the borough council has begun the process of staffing said borough manager position. Whereas PCD has from time to time provided direct matching cash assistance by way of grant to partially fund borough manager positions. Whereas the borough of Shawler, uh, Washington County intends to pursue certain state grants. Now, therefore, being resolved by the Borough Council of the Borough of Shawler as follows. One, the Council for the Borough of Shawler is authorized to apply for any appropriate grants through DCED for the purpose of partial funding of a Borough Manager salary. Two, the Council President Mark Alvarese is authorized to prepare and or execute any such application for grant benefits and provide supporting documents. Three, the solicitor shall review any all applications for such grants fully enacted by Borough Council. Uh, this date, uh, December 9th, 2020. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. So, do I have a motion for that, please? So moved. Second. Any other questions on that discussion? Roll call. Gary Chaplin? Yes. Nancy Ellis? Yes. Gary Garrickham? Yes. Jeannie Matiki? Yes. Frank Kara? No. Mark Audrey? Yes. Number four, to accept the resignation with regret of Heidi Kramer from Borough Council. So moved. Second. Second. Um, the only thing I'd like to say is um, Heidi was definitely an asset while she was here, more than people realize, but she was a good sounding board, and I do thank her for her time here, and um, the community was lucky to have her here at the time we did. Uh, yeah. Anything else that anyone want to say? I'd just like to say that um, I enjoyed working with Heidi, and 
her dedication to the community, to the events, and um, would like to accept her resignation with regrets. Any other questions or comments? Roll call. Gary Stamplin? Yes, with regrets. Nancy Allen? Yes, with regrets. Gary Gerica? Yes, with regrets. Jenny Matake? Yes. Frank Katara? Yes. Mark Lawrence? Yes. Uh, number five, authorize your advertise for the vacant council position on council with letters of interest due by January 5th, 2020. So um, and, well, we have a motion second there. So that will actually be a one-year term. That would actually, the person who gets that would run in the next municipal election. So this person appointed would be till um, the end of the final, her term, which would expire the uh, first week of January. Okay. Any other question or discussion on that? What was the day of the uh, January 5th, 2020. And we should add a time on there. I didn't realize we put time. Let's put by 3 o'clock. 3 p.m. I'm sorry, let's make it 3 p.m. For the ones are same meeting? January 6th. The 6th, yeah. Okay. So who made the original motion? I do. Are you okay changing that to by yes. 3 p.m.? Okay. Janine, are you okay changing that to 3 p.m.? Adding 3 p.m. to that? That was me. Yes. Oh, Jody, I'm sorry. She's for the Okay. That was me. Okay. No other question or discussion? Uh, roll call? Jody Chaplin? Yes. Nancy Allen? Yes. Gary Jericho? Yes. Jenny Matiki? Yes. Frank Katara? Yes. Mark Ulrich? Yes. Okay, number six. So mm -hmm. Authorize or, average, or advertise, I'm sorry, the 2021 budget. Have a motion for that, please? So moved. Second. Any question or discussion on that? Discussion. Sure, go ahead. number again because these numbers are not and that's another issue that these are no longer numeric order and that drives me crazy it really does they should be a numeric order so we find them easy what was it? DCD uh, grant. That's what the word is saying. Well, that can't be happy. That's something we're going to have to discuss in an executive session before we continue on with this. That would not be right. I thought it was the partnership grant also. I believe it is. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. 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 Okay.
the resolution we adopted tonight uh, will authorize us now. That was agenda item three. That's what allows us now to pursue the funding source. That's, collect, that's collecting at about an 88% rate in our current garbage rate. of two things. What we received in 2019 before the pandemic and what we're receiving this year with nine months of pandemic. With the uh, vaccine coming very shortly and there's no reason to think that we're going to go through another nine months. This, this, these numbers all project out to where we're at for 2020. So we're pretty much on target with 2020 numbers, a combination of 2019 and 2020 numbers um, by doing this. The numbers would have been worse this year because we've had a full nine months of things being down. It is very hard to believe we're going to have a full nine months of this, this bad next year once the vaccine is in place. And the vaccine, you know, there's no reason to think so. As I told you, Mark, on the phone, You know what you see the payroll amounts 
you know how much comes out for each type of payroll. So, you know, you do taxes. So you'd be, you could see for yourself what percentage would come out. If you take the 35000 for example, you know how much comes out for FICA, how much comes out for Medicare. You, you have those numbers. You know that because you can just you can, you can take them out on your own. Okay. Okay. What else you got? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Does anybody else have any other questions at all? Okay. No, that's we're still doing the budget. We didn't vote on this. <laughs> okay. Roll call. On all Yes. Nancy Alex? Yes. Gary Barricade? Yes. Vinny Martini? Okay, well, we're passing a preliminary right now, so you can I go back through that. I have no problem going through that, but we did that based on, you know, unless you have a different count for how many people we're collecting garbage from. We went by the number she has in the office. For 2010 people, 2010 pickups, it's in the contract. Okay, Janine, Janine, if you, if you multiply 2010 by 165, that's 331,650. If you, if you multiply, you said 2010 households, right? Times. Times 165. 147 is our, is our contract. This is the income we're talking about, Janine. Okay. 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 So, I'm sorry, what was your vote? Yes, thank you. Go to work. Frank Patera? Yes. Mark Alderese? Yes. Okay, number seven, to approve the advertised 2021 budget and a 2021 millage reporting of... That was number six. Yeah, the same. And now we're going to do that because we have to advertise for 10 days. Oh, so we can't... Oh, I apologize. I read this wrong one here. I thought we still had to approve the millage right now, though. Yeah. We approve the budget, we didn't actually approve the millage amount. You won't until your final budget set. And then remember, we don't, because we're not raising millage, we don't have to do an ordinance, we can do it by resolution. That's fine. I thought we still had, I, was, I thought we still had to approve the millage at this point. No, I think you're, you're okay with approving the preliminary budget. That's fine. On authorizing it for advertising. Okay, that's fine. I wonder why you had it written in that way. Um, one thing, just to bring everybody up to speed before we go to the, when we're sitting in the recess. Um, the water authority appointment that was discussed, um, and there was a question at the last meeting on when that appointment was actually up. I did talk to the water authority, I talked to Chuck, and he said it actually does not expire until the first Monday in January, um, and that their first meeting is not until the third Tuesday, so that we are really not supposed to advertise it or, or do the appointment until then. Actually, doing it now would actually be against the authority's um, regulations on it. He was very so we had a long talk about that. So that's the reason that we talked about having one on the agenda. That's the reason why it's not on there. Um, okay, so before I recess, is there anybody for redress of grievances? No, it's no problem. It happens. That's why you and I are talking the other time, the other day. These numbers can get a little, you know, a little jumbled sometimes. So I understand. That's not a problem. No apology necessary. Well, I would apologize because that's, that, that, was, that was not that was wrong. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and recess the meeting to December twenty first, twenty twenty at five p.m. Um, for the budget. Oh, um, I apologize. Before we do, do that, before and we take that back for a recess, I forgot Nancy. Something and Steve, and if we're going to 
do the executive session. Should yes. I do that before we recess? Or since we're recessing, we can go ahead and do the executive session? Yes. And then if we need to vote on what she wants to talk about. recall the meeting. The Are you okay with that if we do that with your executive session? Or do you want to vote on time? Or do you want to give her one time to think about it? Whatever you want to do. I'd rather give her one time to think about it. Right, that's fine. And it's only, it's only a week away, mm -hmm. or 10 days, so I'd like to do that. That's fine. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Mark and I discussed this, and as he had said, there. What's in your packet? This would be for the uh, permits and fees. Oh, the permits and fees in the packet. I thought she was turning that to the session. No, not yet. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so there has been on the books a resolution um, since 2018 regarding the peddling. Um, there, there are various fees for various instances, and the peddling uh, is currently at $100 per day, correct? Uh -huh. 20. 20. $125 is for the um, peddling solicitor. Oh, okay. There's nothing on your own. Okay. okay, so peddling, I'm sorry, I was looking incorrectly here. Okay, peddling one day is 25. For a week it's 100. And for a month it is 300. So, in view of, and we have discussed this, in view of what has transpired regarding the food trucks, and what in particular, um, we have decided that since this is already in existence as a resolution, we were not enforcing this. However, let me jump. Let me interrupt you on one thing that I've asked. The peddling was always, and Steve, correct me, the peddling was actually the people who went door to door selling. We used to have those in the problem yeah. for years. Yes. And I looked at it in the code book. It is selling here. Yeah. Okay. And what's soliciting then? Because soliciting is door to door. Soliciting door to door? So they would actually, so wait a minute. There, is it peddling or would the trucks would fall under transient retail merchant? Or mer the, mer the retail and certain food fall under that together? That's why you told me it would go under. I forgot. This, this is the issue is that that type of service didn't exist. It wasn't popular. Right. This fee schedule scheme was, was established. So. Do you want to review this and take this up? I think we should. Our, our, okay. So then are we, when are we going to at this point not charge a fee until this is uh, reviewed? I think we'd already talked about it's okay to charge a fee. But, so you're saying it should go under the peddling size? Well, there's, there's a significant difference. Right. Well, it's already on the books. Yeah. So. We waived it because of a certain um, vendor. However, there is another certain vendor who took advantage of the situation, and that's why we have this. So, Steve, what should the amount be? Then? It would seem to fit. Correct me if I'm wrong, but better under peddling under the current arrangement, correct? Than soliciting. Soliciting is your traditional door-to-door -door cable company, gas company that does shops and ratings. Those are generally your daily solicitors. So I think if you were going to enforce one now, I'm frankly I would wait until we have our next meeting and consider updating our fee schedule accordingly. But that would have to be an ordinance, so we'd have to pass an ordinance, or we just we have to actually pass that some ordinance before. Because it's not defined in this. Because to state. me, it really we don't have since we don't have a weekly and a monthly, that should really fall into transit. Yes, because that would be a, you're right, that'd be a daily requirement. Correct. 
but we don't have a monthly or, or a weekly or um, daily setup for that, which that's really what we need to do. So, but for the moment, until we have the new ordinance, are we all in agreement to go with the peddling with this would fall? Is that I what you're saying? So. I think something has to be done. Is that yeah, a suitable recommendation? I don't know. Well, I'm asking for your recommendation. I think that would make sense, yes. Okay. Yeah, so there's nothing to really vote on here. It's just as yeah. far as it's starting to enforce it. And just, you know, any of the ones that are, any of the vendors are coming in, they're going to have to come up to the borough and get it. That's all. And that's a real reasonable price, quite honestly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's very, very, I mean, that's. So when is this going to go into effect? Did we say Friday? This coming Friday? Is that a fair time to do it, Steve? Yeah, there's actually a notice from the night before. Okay. I mean, it's, we're already, we're basically enforcing what's already been adopted. Right. Okay. So any vendor in town will have to come to the bar, is that correct? Correct. Okay. Everyone okay with that? And who will enforce to make sure that they do that? Well. Thinking that calls under closer to code. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting here thinking, huh? Well, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sure all he's going to have to say is he'll pay the $20. That's know. it. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's it for that. Sure. So it, it, you're saying that it's going to fall under paddling? Temporarily. I mean, if it's for if it's for a fundraiser, should it be at a discounted cost? You can't discount much more than twenty dollars. <laughs> that's pretty cheap. Okay. I mean that's it really uh, needs to be raised. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. Yeah, that is. Okay. I make a motion for another year. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm not recognizing that motion. Because um, Janino said I spent too much on the budget. <laughs> okay, so we're going to recess this meeting. There's nothing else. Nothing else before I recess it. Um, so, Steve, you, let me make sure I'm clear here. Should I actually do the executive session now and then recess? Or we'll go ahead and recess and go to executive session? Unless we're coming back to vote. We're not coming back to vote. Right? Then you need to recess now. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and recess the meeting to December 21st, 2020 at 5 p.m. So we can advertise the 2021 budget. And right now we're going to go to an executive session. Um, and we will not be voting on anything. I'd just like to say, Mr. President, I have a uh, piece of litigation I'd like to discuss. Okay. So we have a personnel, 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 personnel matter and litigation. Okay. Thank you.